Good morning, my friends. We are back at Virginia Key. <laughs> oh man, we are here a lot. Let me tell you, that's that's gonna be a constant theme on this channel because I ride Virginia Key a lot. But today, we're gonna take the more chill ride. And uh, basically, we're just gonna try to hit the green and the blue trails today. Just have a nice chill Friday afternoon ride here. So of course, when you come to Virginia Key, you gotta do Start Me Up. I think that's what it's called. That used to be so janky. They smoothed it out a lot and added that burn there. But it was very janky actually before. Kind of takes away the little challenge, but for a whole oh, big iguana. For a, uh, you know, first corner. Yeah. It should probably be smoothed out a little bit. Now, I don't ride this trail too often because if it rains, it always gets very flooded down here. And it's pretty much the only part in the whole trail system that tends to get flooded because it's the lowest point. So all the water pretty much just rushes down here. So there's more animals down here too. Lots of rustling in the leaves. I mean, in the, in the bushes right now. Ooh. It's so dry out here, oh my god. Very, very loose into the corners. Now for a green trail, I think this is actually a really good green trail. It's pretty long. It's one of the longest green trails I've been on. And uh, it's got, you know, some little challenges. Oh, they fixed this a little bit. <clears throat> but, um, everything is 100% doable, even for the novice. Wait, is this start me up or learn to fly? I don't remember. I'm not good at the, at the trail names. But the one crappy part about this trail is coming up here in like about a second. And it's this little climb. It's nothing technical, but you're just, you know, you don't really want to do it. <laughs> At least I don't. But it's an easy climb. It's one of those things you just got to get through. And uh, best part of all, there's a little no-name blue trail here. Which is a, a nice little change of pace after that little climb. A little switchback kind of lose all your speed, but whatever. There's a video out there somewhere of me riding this trail with Adriel where I screw up 
like the next three corners back to back. Adriel, of course, is uh, biking with the boys. Shout out, biking with the boys. And I like to take that corner like that with a little, little skid into the corner. Get the back end out just a little bit so we can make the corner quickly. Now here's a little challenge. Let's go down the middle. Oh, yes. Uh oh. They added some rocks there. Ah. And we're back on the uh, the green trail. You get this little downhill reward for your efforts, which is always good. I use it as a chance to rest up. <laughs> or you could push it, but uh, it's so dry out here. I don't want to push the front end too hard. I should probably air down. I say that every video. And I never do it. This is the best part right here. Wah. Wah. Yes. Okay, yeah. This is learning to fly. <laughs> So if you're thinking about coming out here to Virginia Key and uh, renting a bike or you've never done mountain biking or you're just new or a novice like me, well, all the green and blue trails are super accessible. There really isn't anything out here in the green and blues that is mandatory and you can walk it all. or get off and ride it slowly. Now this is the only thing, Whew, at least when you start out here at Virginia Key, you gotta climb up to the top of the hill. So you're probably gonna be very tired if you're new and this is your first time out here and you, you finally get to this little trail here. This is a blue trail. You're probably gonna be chugging a little bit. Whoa. Looks like we're coming up on a rider. How's it going, guys? Oh, good, good. Right? You too. You? Not nah, just me. Yeah. See, new riders can do this too. Boy, I'm a little hungry. Oh 
yeah, I forgot. I wanted to try that little jump Carlos does there. Ooh, yeah. All right. Back to the climb. Another blue trail here, wild thing. I just read the sign, saved you the trouble. This is actually a really cool trail. Has probably some of the best corners in the whole park because they're all downhill. <laughs> really, really dry though, oh my God. Another cool feature about this trail, there's a drop which you can bypass. And it actually leads you to one of the other trails. Stairway to heaven. So very cool, approachable trail here. Actually, it's kind of scary the first time doing it. At least I was. This is awesome right here. Oh yeah, back end slip. Then you get to recover a little bit. Oh yeah. The rest is a little bit of a challenge if your fitness is not good or up to it, but well, again, everything is doable. Now here, just a nice little pedal to get, to, to, to get you through to the end. Oh man, I'm chugging along. That little climb, it took me forever to get it. But now it's like the easiest thing in the world. So today we're only doing blue and green, so we're not gonna be doing stairway. We're gonna skip it today. I skip it often, it's such, a, such an incredible challenge for me. But I like it when they do it. And you get this little, nice little exit. And you can build up some speed. And kind of chillax until you get to the next trail, which should be smoke on the water. <laughs> ah, breathe. Whew, don't just talk. <laughs> now here are some benches on the left where you can chill, catch your breath, whatever. I'm just gonna keep it going. I ate like a, like a power bar or something before, before coming out here. I don't think it was enough. This trail, smoke on the water, is pretty chill. It's nothing too special here. It's just getting you down to the other side. So we're only doing the blues and the green, so we're gonna skip Yellow Brick Road, which is actually categorized as a black diamond trail, which, oh my God, I got into the moss on the outside and I almost died. <laughs> oh boy, front end boys. It is so slippery coming out of that little feature though. All right, so normally we'd make a left here and we're gonna make a right to like, <laughs> The steepest downhill here we got, the longest one too. Let's try the little jumps. Getting a little better, not enough speed for the second one. We almost cleared the first one, which is what I'm trying to do. 
Now, a lot of people don't do this next trail. It sucks, it just sucks all your speed, but it's got a fun little entrance right here. You gotta do it just for that. This is actually a green, yeah, it's a green trail. But uh, the rest of it is just a little, little, little pedal through some roots and you're out of there. Like I said, of course, if we hadn't done this trail, we'd be coming out with a lot of speed, but we did it. So got to work our way back up again. So here we go. All right, boys, here we go. A little drop there you can skip it by going on the left like I did little root section now here so dry get up there Now I'm worried my front end's gonna go. <laughs> Just focus. And again, we get to climb some more. Ah. Come on, bitch, get up there. Oh boy, hate that. Hate that climb. There are kind of punchier climbs out here, but that one is so long. It really zaps my energy. Here we go into probably my favorite trail though. The blue Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. Personally, I really like the blue trails out here. They're a, they're a nice mix of doable and easy peasy. Like, this is a little scary at first, but when you do it a couple times, you're like, huh, it's actually easy peasy. Now, this is the part where <laughs> the video's gonna get a little boring. It's a lot of cross country here, just riding the trail to the next feature. But here we are. <laughs> Make sure you hit that. Hit that like button, share this video with one of your friends if you guys are thinking about coming out to VK. That's what the locals call it. <laughs> and you can sound just like a local, just say, hey man, we're going to VK, you know? <sighs> but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, share it with one of your friends. Let me know when was the last time, leave a comment down below. When was the last time you were out here at Virginia Key or if you're coming out here, when are you gonna be out here? And what's your favorite trail out here? Okay, I'm gonna save some juice here. But we're kind of we're kind of coming up to the, my favorite section of this little trail here. It's this little climb into a down. Sorry about the sniffles. Here it is. Yes. Oh boy. A little jumpy jump. Don't <laughs> go off trail. <sighs> speed, speed, speed. Downshift. Keep pedaling so you don't fall over. <sighs> and then get the hell out of here. Oh boy. Now I know I said no cuts but I believe in respecting people's dignity. So there was a cut there. So that you guys don't see what I saw. And to respect the dude. So the title of the video is uncut, but I think I, think I will throw in some cuts so that you guys don't have to go through this going from trail to trail thing. 
All right. Now this is Freebird. This to me is the best green trail in Miami. Now, now granted, I only really ride Virginia Key, <laughs> but a couple times I've ridden at, uh, at Amelia or at Oleta, this trail, at the green trail, is better than any of the other green trails I've been at. So this is, uh, this is, if you're coming out here for the first time, this is definitely a must do. It's late in the, in the uh, it's late in the, like the rotation or whatever, but it's worth it. Just do it. Lots of little features like that where you can, oh boy, slippery, man. I am in the market for a new bike. So, I you know anybody that has like a specialized stump jumper or a Trek Fuel X5 they wanna get rid of, let me know. That's like the only reason you might wanna do that trail to get that view. Ooh, pedal strike. Oh boy, here we go. This is easy. Just let the bike do the work. Now we're coming up to a feature that I actually really like. It's this little switchback bridge. But it's got this little cool wall ride, man. It's too good to pass up. You gotta do it. Now, if you're anything like me, and hopefully you are, uh, you didn't always ride mountain bike. And, uh, you know, I'm actually a little bit bigger than uh, most people, so, AKA chunkier, you know? <laughs> but, um, you know, it used to give me a lot of trouble doing these trails, but now, riding more often, just a little bit more fit. That's all you need to get through all these trails in a comfortable way where you're not absolutely dying. Flow, flow. Let's get some flow, flow. Didn't jump it. Normally jump it, didn't jump it. I feel kind of slow right now. Now this is probably the most challenging blue trail we have here at Virginia Key. It is flowy. And again, everything is doable for intermediate riders, but it does have some uh, tricky bits where you do have to really manage your speed, manage your gears, and really just hope you don't wash out. That's what we're going for today, no washing out. Here we go. Washed out there a couple weeks ago. Not fun.
Now, trails are a little bit janky because it's so dry. They just sort of fall apart a little bit. It's the opposite of other places where a little bit of rain here actually helps keep everything together. But when it gets dry, the sand gets very loose, starts to erode away. So you gotta watch where your front wheel is. Make sure you uh, don't hit any of those little divots in the single track. Hit my fist, what the shit? All right, and this is actually the last blue trail we're gonna do. So, once you're out of there, you can just come over here and hit this little drop. I still do the green drop. Listen, it's no shame. Okay, people don't do the green drop. They're out here trying to get better. You can actually roll this. I choose to give it a little, little drop action just to practice it so that when we get, oh boy, front end, very loose there. Anyways, as I was saying, so when we get to that blue one, we got the technique now. All right, and uh, since that's the last blue trail out here, huh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm a little tired because I was actually pushing a little bit. It might not feel like it to you guys, but to me, I was actually pushing a little bit. Anyways, guys, check out one of the videos in the that's gonna come up real soon. Maybe check out one of those. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, share something gnarly. All right, here you know we gotta do a little PT. Just a little bit of the old pump truck.